What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're going to be doing a review on a 2022 Toyota RAV4 TRD package and we're going to be talking about the exterior, interior and some specs about this car. Also the comparisons to the XLE sitting right next to us. But before we do, guys, we're gonna promise you guys to drop the MSRP sticker to the TRD RAV4 so you guys can get, kind of get, of an, get an idea of the pricing, the exact package, and what comes with this car. If you do like our content, it is not a sponsored video. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel if you have something for us to film. Here's our email below. Email us, we can talk details later. And a special, special thanks and a shout out to Toyota Meta here in Sacramento for providing us these cars for the review. Let's go ahead and start. So now let's kick off this review with talking some specs about these engines on both the TRD package and the XLE package. We're gonna pop this hood open for you guys. So both packages do come with the 2.5 liter four cylinder motor and they give you 203 horsepower with 184 pounds foot of torque. Both of them have an eight speed automatic transmission. You do have both options in all wheel drive, but this TRD package, remember it comes with the TRD suspension. MPG on this exact TRD package is gonna be 25 city, 32 highway with a 28 combined, everybody. Now guys, you do have the option, remember, to get the XLE in the all wheel drive or the front wheel drive. But let me tell you guys, from my experience and my knowledge, you have a better resale value and the look and the, the bells and whistles are on the TRD. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Now let's go ahead and shut this hood. And let's talk some differences between both. Now guys, what do we first see? Headlights, same. Fog lights, something that you're gonna see. You can get fog lights on the XLE so that you are gonna be seeing little options on the different trims. But the TRD have those nice bulky bezels around. Loving that more bulky front end. Grills are different. If you pay attention, the grills are different in the front and the lower diffusers. Look at this. Front here, kind of more off-road off aggressive look on that lower part of that bumper. Not here, this is more kind of a, just a, a simple matte black plastic. On that, this comes kind of a glossy gray here. Toyota stamped on both. Continuing over to the side, you will be seeing different, uh, different sides on these cars. For example, the wheel well trims. TRD, everybody knowing the TRD package coming in over from the pickups to the RAV4s, you have bigger fender flares. XLE, a little bit more smaller, kind of more for the city. This is more for the rugged off-road camping style of car. Rims, same thing. You will get different rims, remember, on different trims. Even the XLE will come different rims from these. You will also see this just on a TRD rim with TRD suspension, everybody. Remember that. Gives it more gr ground clearance, mud flaps right behind the tires, protecting that paint, protecting what's flying behind it if you're using this for off-road. Tires are off-road tires. Uh, mirrors are pretty much the same with integrated lighting, blind side assist or blind spot assist on that with the two color mirror, depending on which car or you have and what color they come with, that will vary. Continuing on, get a look at the side of this TRD package, everybody. With the matte black plastic trim, this is very durable, takes a beating. Keyless entry, you can just pop that uh, door handle back and it'll unlock the car. Rack on top, everybody. This is something that you're gonna be seeing different from TRD over to like the XLE. And I'm gonna be, comp I'm comparing it to the XLE, but you will see differences on different models like the LEs or things of that sort. Take that also into consideration. Look at the quarter panel cuts, the, the character that Toyota puts in their quarter panels, very nice body lines with that kind of matte black plastic trim up top coming over to the back side here. This all right here does come standard look alike. On the back end, TRD off-road, Toyota stamped RAV4 in the kind of matte black look, matte plastic with again that gray diffuser on the back end here with a double tip exhaust or double exhaust reflectors. Got your backup lights. These are halogens. 
brake lights, we left them on so you guys can kind of get an idea. Camera is integrated into the tailgate right over the license plate. Of course, guys, pretty simple, straight to the point. These RAV4s, we all know. One thing that you can rely on Toyota for is the reliability. These things will go forever. Electric open, tailgate, TRD off-road mat, something that you will be seeing also stamped. Let's go ahead and lift that mat. So you guys can kind of get an idea of the tire situation going on. You do have a spare tire. On the right hand side right here, you got a inverter, 100 watt, 120 volt with a 12 volt outlet, some pocket space, nice blue lighting. Loving that they're not putting that yellow soft lighting in. You could see a whole lot more. Some trunk cover if you want some privacy for your personal belongings. And that back row seating is going to be 4060 and you can drop them from back here also just by the lifting of this seat we're going to go ahead and drop that and we're going to go ahead and drop this one so you guys kind of get an idea of how big this trunk space is you can literally fit like washer machines or dryers or skis snowboards you're going up to the mountain for the weekend and you have the trd camping you can fit a whole lot of stuff inside this car now same idea with the xle nothing changes with regards to the size of the cabin everybody so keep that in mind pressing button automatic close loving that rav4 did this i mean toyota did this to the rav4s on the trd package because certain rav4s earlier models you'd have to slam that tailgate down so guys we're pretty much done with the exterior let's go ahead and head over to the interior and some differences so now sitting onto the interior side of this trd package now you will see differences and i'm going to point those out right off the bat the red stitching perforated leather you got that trd embroidered into that headrest loving that look where you have that sporty bucket seat on this trd now these front seats come ventilated and heated front seats super cool that you will see that uh, differently on other cars. Remember, XLEs and other trims will come leather optioned or cloth, but not on the TRD, leather. Very cool. Let's go ahead and start this car for the sake of the video. In front of you, you still have your manual tachometers for your RPM gauge, your temperature control, and your gas. But in the middle, you have digital info card along with your miles per hour, and you can control that info card by your control units right here on your three spoke i would guess you would consider it three spoke if you want to consider these two it'd be four whatever you think leave in the comment section below but you can control that info card by your arrows here and go through the system and check out things like your miles and what the car is doing tire pressure and all that good stuff right here you have the uh bumper sensors button lane departure assist on this Mode, if you want to change the mode, check this out. Did you know your test Tur turn off the radio by this. We're going, to turn the, we're going to turn off the radio, but we're going to control that mode here for the radio and the sound system. Door panel, leather dress with the red stitching, silver with that kind of matte black plastic look, all coming together. Very nice control unit for your side, win for your windows and your controlled electric mirrors right there left and right on the left hand side of this manual steering column you will have your heated steering wheel very cool also leather black stitching tailgate button here and your uh rain sensor button and things of that sort your lights for your auto demo your your dimming on the front cluster or board or buttons lights wheel right there nine inch infotainment screen system i know some people asked me about other cars in the past but this is nine inch touch sensitive you could also control it by manual app not installed take into consideration that you do not have navigation in this car let's go to menu let's go to audio right there bluetooth sxm and you get apple carplay android assistance car there let's go back to menu a little bit show you guys some stuff some setup and you go to Bluetooth, audio, phone, voice, general, your clock and all that stuff, keyboard layout, animation, driver setting, very cool software update and all that good stuff. If you do come over to uh, Meta Toyota here in Sacramento, they have guys that will spend some time with you guys and teaching you guys the ins and outs of this car. Continuing lower, control unit, loving the big knobs, 
the kind of like rubber feel around the knobs. Let's go ahead and turn that on by the button so you guys kind of get an idea. You can sync that eco heat and cool button. Right under that is the controls for your heated and ventilation seats. Traction control button to the left of that. Very, very cool. Right under that is going to be a, go ahead and open this, USB-A plug-in with your 12-volt outlets. Continuing on, parking brake, and I'm loving the parking brake button because it's so convenient. Check this out, I go to reverse, right? It does have a automatic release, but maybe you didn't want that, and you want to go ahead and push your button. It's right there, so convenient that Toyota puts that there. Loving that, because some people and manufacturers will put them on the left-hand side of the steering column. Control unit, this is what you're gonna be using a lot if you're going off-roading, sand, mud, dirt, whatever, snow. And look at this. I go to switch this knob into rock or mud and sand and that front cluster changes. Look, rock lets you know where the power is being put, in, put down. Let's go ahead and go back to sand and look, automatically turns off your traction control, your sensor warnings, and gives you a different color look. But let's go ahead and go into snow. Turns white, got the little snowflakes up there. Let's go into sport, turns red, course normal, and eco turns green. Very cool, very cool. Let's go ahead and push the button back to normal. You get the normal button here and here. Cubby room with USB-C plugins, so maybe you're stressing that you weren't gonna have USB-C plugins, but you have USB-A and USB-Cs with a straight to the point cubby room. Big cup holders, loving that Toyota kept those big cup holders. Some personal space, maybe you're not using it for the cup holders but loving it, loving it, loving it. The seats, guys, loving the seats, but I wanna tell you guys something. Electric controlled on the driver and manual control on the passenger. Perforated leather with some design integrated up on right under your hiney and on your backrest. Embroidered TRD with the red stitching, straight to the point, glove compartment, more personal space, and a little bit of uh, dressed, kind of leather feel with that red stitching and the plastic top up top for your dashboard with the silver. Up top, something that you also will be seeing uh, in different trim packages, the sunroof. Manual visor, and you can drop that. Let's go ahead, tilt option, and you can go ahead and, whoop, go drop, sorry, you gotta drop the tilt and then open. My bad. Look at that, very cool and you get the reliability that this thing is not going to break, knowing certain manufacturers, these things will break on them or have issues. Lighting straight to the point and some sunglass holders. Guys, we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and talk about second row seating. So now let's talk second row seating, everybody. Of course, you got the TRD mats coming over to the back side of these seats, and we drop these seats so you guys can see, but you can lift them up from the back, just like that. And you get the same kind of look. Same perforated black leather. We, they did not simplify the design. Kept it the same all throughout. Loving that Toyota kept that on this TRD. TRD off-road mats in the front and back. And you kind of have the mountain shaped on the mats for this car specifically. Armrest, straight to the point. Cup holders, loving that they kept it nice and big in the back. You will see that a lot of manufacturers will simplify those cup holders and make them smaller. Let's go ahead and sit inside and do a space test. Legs, very clear on the legs, a lot of room. Head clearance, see this curvature up in this top liner and it gives you more head clearance. I'm about six feet, two inches if anybody wants to know, so you have a lot of room back here. Pocket space just on the passenger seat on the back of it. On the back of the center console, USB-C plugins with your little vent controls to close the vents and open. Door panels look pretty much the same from the front over to the back. Control unit for your window, your handle, OSHA's knit handle on the right and the left. Lighting in that nice kind of true lighting color. Loving that Toyota is actually coming over to that nice true light so you don't got that soft yellow where you're always squinting in the dark or flushing around for stuff. Guys, as promised, we're gonna drop that MSRP sticker on the TRD specifically so you guys can kind of get an idea of the tech and all the stuff, exterior and interior things, and the price on this exact car of where you guys are gonna be at. Thanks so much, guys, for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Stay tuned, we got some cool things coming.